Hello everyone. Welcome to the second video in the series of wire harness modeling. In the previous video, I introduced the basis of wire harness modeling using FICO and we did a simple example for an uh, unshielded radiating cable. Now in this video, we will look at the second example, which is the unshielded victim cable. For this, we will use the same setup similar to the previous case. And so we don't need to start from scratch. So please open the file which you did previously for the unshielded radiating cable and we will go from there. So in the previous case where we looked at cable being the aggressor, in this case, we are going to have the cable as a victim. So we will make some small changes to the setup. To begin with, let's save this as a different name. Since the cable is going to be the victim, we are doing irradiation studies. So let's save it as irradiation. Once you finish saving, let's go back to our schematic setup and let's remove the port. You can remove the port by simply hitting delete. And then let's add a resistor and connect it here. Let's give it a value. 240 ohms and let's measure the current passing through this resistor as well as the voltage across this resistor to do so let's introduce a current probe so under cable schematic under pro clip on current probe if you press r it will rotate then connect it between the resistor and the ground and then let's measure the voltage across r1 so click on voltage probe and uh, you can connect the probe across uh, R1. So you click on view and click on zoom to extends. That will bring it uh, to the view so you can connect it properly. So there you go. So this is a setup to make this cable a dummy cable, which is terminated on either end. So this is a victim cable. So there is no voltage source, meaning there is no aggression from the cable. Since there is no aggression from the cable, we do not need the near field and the far field request. So let's um, exclude them. Right click and exclude. So we need to have a source that uh, interferes with the cable. So you can either have a antenna radiating nearby or uh, you can model a plane wave source. So in this case, let's choose a plane wave. So right click on sources include a plane wave source. So consider a hypothetical plane wave just to demonstrate the case of the cable being the victim. So I'm using three volts per meter, angle of 45 degrees. Then let's choose the right hand rotating with an ellipse city of one. And let's have a polarization angle of 45. We need to move the work plane to next to the cable. So give these values. Hit create. So that will basically create a plane wave source. Here we are having this source at this angle. So now let's assign irradiation for calculation. So click on cable harness, go to solution, change it to irradiation and click OK. Let's validate. Click on CEM validate. Everything is green, so everything checks out. Save the design and let's run. So it completed the simulation. Click OK. Click on Post FICO. Click on Cartesian and click on the probes. So this gives the induced voltage and this gives the induced current across the resistors. So you can change the magnitude of uh, the plane wave source. So we use three volts. We can use one volt, point volt volt. You can see that the different voltages and currents which are induced across R1 and R2. So again, this is an example of irradiation where the cable is the victim. 
Uh, the source can be an antenna, a plane wave source, near field source, far field source, or even a PCB current source. This completes the second example and comes to the end of the video. Thank you for watching.